This year my family visited my brother in Honolulu for the holidays and it was great to have a break from the winter weather and do some tropical hiking. In this video from late December, we're hiking part of the Waimano Ridge Trail. The trail is over 16 miles, so we did a shorter section that has some expansive views over the mountains. It wasn't all views though, this hike definitely has some quirks. Oh, I smacked my head twice. <laughs> Okay. Stay tuned to find out what's going on with those tunnels and ropes and to see the beautiful lookout that we used as a turnaround point. The trailhead is about 25 minutes drive northwest of Honolulu. The parking is across the street from a school and the trail starts out with this unassuming walk along the fence. After a few minutes, the path turns away from the fence and we start to go into the woods. It quickly starts to get very scenic, though also quite muddy since we're hiking in the rainy season. Here we're pausing to put on some micro spikes to get some better traction. That chain mail will act as traction on the trail. Periodically there's, there's tunnels that, that go through the, the mountain alongside the trail where the water will get pumped through. This closest one is, is not high enough for you to be able to stand up the right through. You have to crouch over, but you can still go through it. And other ones, you're actually, they're tall enough that you can actually walk through them. There's three different options here for how to get it, get go forward. Uh, the main trail goes that way, but there's a place where it eroded away, and there's some rocks and ropes to climb through to get to get over there. What some people did is they created this overpass here. So it's a six tunnel overpass. This is the sixth tunnel we've reached so far. Um, so it basically is a little trail kind of like this one that goes up and around over that problem. Alternatively, you could go through that tunnel back there, but the tunnel has water in it because it rained a lot recently, so probably not um, as appealing. So, so basically it's up to you, you if you want to go that way or that way. Alex and my mom disagreed about which route was the best, but that's the cool thing about this trail. At multiple places, you can choose your preferred route around obstacles. To be fair, the rocks will catch us with water. had a direct hit in this mud. We use the pavilion at this beautiful viewpoint as a turnaround point for our hike. The full trail is over 16 miles long, so you can certainly go farther if you'd like. there really was a lot of mud. Apparently this is a mango tree right on the trail. 
Unfortunately, they're not ripe right now, but. The really giant tree over there is an albizia tree, which is a, a kind of tree from Indonesia. They grow so fast here. They grow 15 feet a year sometimes in Hawaii. Wow. So if they, um, unfortunately, their, their roots don't grow as fast as the, as the trunks in Hawaii. So they have a reputation for tipping over. That is really pretty. Thanks for watching Adventures with Holly and Brian. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more of the best of the Pacific Northwest and beyond. See you next time.